Hi, hello, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, it has been a long time since I have posted, I know. Um, that's because I had my phone stolen um, once I moved to the city um, out of Canmore. Saturn's just down here. <laughs> of course I show while he's licking himself. Um, I had my phone stolen when I moved to the city, so I didn't really have a very good quality camera on my phone for a really long time with the replacement. So now that I finally do, I thought I would start YouTube again. Um, so hopefully some vlogs, but I just thought I'd start with something easy like a studio apartment tour with my large breed high drive service dog. So I own a white Swiss Shepherd and he is very high drive. We compete in a few sports, um, one being Schutzhund. Um, right now we're just going for our BH, which will be in July. It is currently the end of May. So uh, we have about a month and a half to prepare for that. And then we also do obedience and things like that. Um, he's also my demo dog for puppy classes. So he does a lot. Um, we usually go out um, once to twice a day for 30 to 45 minutes of fetch each time. And then he'll do like decompression walks and things like that. So I'll do another video on what it's like living in a studio apartment with a service dog. But right now this is kind of just my tour. Um, I did just want to say, I know that there are a lot of people who have a lot of opinions on what is the right way to own a dog and um, what the right thing to do for optimal ownership and all these things. And I know that a lot of people don't feel that dogs, um, especially big dogs or high drive dogs, should live in apartments or very small spaces like this. Um, and I just want to say like, please keep those opinions to yourself in the comments. They'll be deleted because, um, you don't know my like personal experience and my personal, like what I put into my dog. So if you feel that the way you do dog ownership is better than everyone else, um, please check your ego at the door because there is a ton of different ways to do dog ownership well. And um, just because someone's dog's lifestyle doesn't match what your dog's lifestyle is, doesn't mean that they're doing dog ownership wrong. Um, and at the end of the day, what matters is if we're all trying our best to meet our dog's needs and succeeding at that. Um, so succeeding at that more often than we are not. Everyone's allowed a bad day. So um, with that being said, uh, enjoy the room tour. <laughs> Or the apartment tour, I guess. It's one room, so it's really not that exciting. Enjoy. So you come in, and I have my entryway here. You close the door. I have with my place, my light switches that Saturn turns off for a task. I have all these stick in, oh, stick in paste tiles on here. Um, so that he's not ruining the wall. You can see that like he scratches it up a bit. So I just don't want him to ruin that. So we come into my entryway and I have some artwork and then I've got like my shoes and I have my calendar station. Um, I have a pretty epic calendar station because I have a horrible memory. Um, and that's part of my disability. I really struggle to remember things, so I have to have a monthly calendar, a weekly calendar, and then a daily schedule. Um, and that's just what I have to do every day to be able to function. Um, so then I have some extra storage over here. Um, right next to my entry is my washroom. So my washroom, I painted the wall. Um, you come in, it's got a nice big vanity. My toilet paper sits on the counter because the little holder doesn't hold it nicely. Um, I have like my skincare up there. Um, I have a nice big bathtub here, which is nice for if Saturn gets wet or if, or gets dirty, or if I'm having a bad chronic pain day, I like to take a bath. So that's, um, usually a priority of mine whenever I move into a place. Um, I just, that's really important for me. And then, so moving next to the bathroom, I have my kitchen area. And so I moved, I bought this little kitchen island from Walmart and it holds like my utensils and I just have a little hot plate because my apartment 
doesn't come with an oven or stove. It just has a mini fridge and microwave. So I have a little toaster oven, a toaster. Um, I think I bought a smaller one. I just, just coming in the mail. Um, and then my hot plate, I have my shits and goals that I put up there. And then what I have to work on for work, um, <clears throat> In my kitchen I just decided to leave it as it was so I put my scale in the kitchen I weigh Saturn quite frequently because he was struggling with putting on weight so that's um, something I like will pick him up <laughs> to do that um, I have my artwork that I've done on the wall there I paint nude artwork for commissions for some people so I do they'll send me their art or their picture and then I'll paint that of them um, I have my small dish station um, and that's kind of how my kitchen goes. This is like my little supplement area for Saturn. Um, I would open the cupboards, but honestly it's like packed full. Like you can see, especially from this one, like they do not give me a lot of space. So I like have packed it full. Up here is my extra stuff. Um, and then I have like Tupperware and things like that up here. Um, my cups usually sit there, my bowls, and then the rest of my utensils go down here but most of the spaces in the kitchen is full of food so <clears throat> that's kind of the entryway area and then right next to the entryway to kind of separate it i have put my couch backwards um it makes like a nice little separation i have some extra storage there um in canada weed is legalized so i um do have some marijuana paraphernalia but it's legal here to smoke and to grow so I can move on over here I have a three-person cedar from Ikea and I wish I would have got the two-person um, the three-person cedar is nice because if I have a guest over I don't want to like sit directly next to someone so that is nice but it is it can be awkward because my bed like blocks it a bit um, so then I have my paperwork and paint storage down here, my Wi-Fi router, um, an extra storage, some books, things like that. Um, I have a big open space with no coffee table so that Saturn has more space to run around. Um, and like, honestly, it would just be annoying for him if he couldn't. Then I have in the corner here, my dog stuff. So in that door is a walk-in closet. It's not a big closet, I will show you in a minute. Um, so then I have my dog stuff going on here. I hang my vests along this. This is my collar rack. Um, and then I also have my patch wall here. This is where I hang my leashes, obviously. Um, for the patch wall, I was gonna buy one of those like one tigress patch collectors but I just decided to make my own and um, I just painted canvas black and then put like little velcro bits on it and I like how I can customize like how it looks um, so that's kind of nice for me and then I'll show you the closet last I have my TV station so I work at this desk here frequently so at this desk I will do um, admin stuff for my business so I run puppy classes um, and help to train puppies in the area so I just do like the basics like how to prevent reactivity things like that I have my TV raised also on my desk area and then probably the part that people are usually most excited for <laughs> we have a napping Saturn up on the bed um, and so my bed is raised um, and what I did is I just got um, a bunch of two by fours and I kind of had my stepdad help put this together. Um, I have two kennels in the far back corner. Saturn's just laying. I have my wheelchair. This kennel just slides out and I can wheel my wheelchair out for when I'm not having a good day. And then this corner over here, I have clothing storage. Um, so you can't see it super well. Um, I don't like people to see my clothing storage. I have two kennels because I am hoping in the next six months to bring home a puppy. Let's keep that on the down low. <laughs> um, so if you follow or if you're subscribed to my YouTube and you follow, watch this episode, then you'll know that in the next six months here, I should be bringing home a German Shepherd puppy. 
hopefully anyway, six months to a year. Saturn's gonna have a baby brother. Um, and then, so now we'll go into the closet. Yes, so let's go into my closet. Um, so if you open the door, it looks so messy. Um, I have like a lot of storage things up here, sheets, just extra miscellaneous things that get caught up in living. Um, I have a lot of my clothes hung, one of these dividers, and then I have a lot of the like miscellaneous dog training supplies that like just get caught up in things. So like leather handholds and um, a prone collar and things like that. I've got grooming supplies, extra toys, some shoes. Um, I've got <laughs> extra treats which aren't usually supposed to go here, but I'm lazy. And um, I've got like his bandanas, an extra shirt for him, things like that, his raincoat. What else do I usually, yeah, his raincoat. So this is just like where all the things that aren't super aesthetically pleasing go. I also, back here, if you notice, this used to be the curtains that were on my apartment and I thought they were ugly, so I replaced them. And then I got this Dyson because Saturn sheds like crazy. And then finally, the piece of resistance. No, I'm just kidding. This is like, it's not that special. So I have a balcony. I have put chicken wire around most of the balconies so that Saturn's toys don't fly off there because he likes to bring them out. I have this patch of grass. In the morning, we get sun, and in the evening, we get sun, and he usually likes to lay out here. Um, this table is for me to sit on. I usually just sit out here with him. Um, I keep his food out here in like this weather safe container. My bike is up on the balcony here, along with an exercise bike. I got the exercise bike because I hurt my knee quite badly and I just didn't enjoy using it. Um, and my bike probably won't get used for a long time because I am low key terrified. I have these two bins that are like weatherproof. Um, they've just got like keepsakes. So I have like really important stuff. And then this one right here is just um, for empty bottles. Cause in Canada we collect them and then return them for money. Um, yeah, so. This is my wonderful view. This really sold the place, I won't lie. It is so nice to have a view like this. And yeah, I usually say hi to this neighbor whenever he is out. Uh, he got this really cool, I don't know if I can zoom, I can, amazing. He got this like fly eating plant, which I think is really cool. So I come out here and look at that sometimes. <laughs> But otherwise, this is my night. I will come out here and hang out with Saturn. Woo, hello. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. Saturn is just down here with me, ruining his little giraffe toy. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the apartment tour. Stay tuned for more videos. If you guys want to follow us along even further, feel free to follow our Instagram. It is saturn.the.swiss. So Saturn the Swiss, um, and yeah, we try and post daily, um, yeah, come follow us along on our journey. Uh, feel free to subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed. Send me a comment about your favorite part or what you would do differently if you lived in an apartment downtown with a high drive dog. Awesome. Um, have a great day, everyone.